Hey guys, it's Jolly and I'm really excited to share with you what I got with the VIB sale this year. Um, if you don't know, every year Sephora has their biggest sale of the year in November and I got like 20% off so I really have a lot of stuff because I purposely hold out and try to um, stock up on my staples and anything that I might be interested in trying at this time when these items are on sale. So I just want to quickly say um, I am going to be doing swatches of the lip products so you can see them against my skin tone. Um, but I won't be doing, I got like two eyeshadow palettes and I won't be doing eyeshadow swatches. Um, I really just feel like that's not my forte and um, I think you'd probably honestly be better served um, looking for those elsewhere. Um, the two palettes I got seem popular so I'm sure they'll be like well documented online. So I'm not doing eyeshadow swatches but I will do lippy swatches so let's get started. And I waited to unbox these so I just opened up my boxes and I'm gonna be doing this on camera. i um, trying out my stuff for the first time and looking at my stuff for the first time on camera because I find that if I delve into my stuff I start using it and then I have to like recollect my items from all over my house and my purse and stuff for this video that I do every year so I'm unboxing right now so let's get into it okay so these items are gonna be in no particular order but um I just I don't know in the past I've like organized things by like makeup and then skincare or whatever but I just don't, I didn't want to take the time to do it, honestly, but the order that I say things in in the video, it'll be in the same order in the description box. So the order that I say things in the order that I list them will be the same. First up, I got this Elizabeth and James Nirvana White dry shampoo so I think there's Nirvana white and Nirvana black I have never smelled this fragrance but it's actually like a fragrance by Mary-Kate and Ashley that they turned into a dry shampoo and I've been wanting to find a good dry shampoo like forever and I never have really found one that I loved so much and made a big difference in my hair but I don't want this to get too long because I have a lot of stuff so I have to like Try to just say things and move on, but yeah, I'm going to be trying out this Elizabeth and James Nirvana White Dry Shampoo. Okay, another thing I got is this um, Tardis Clay Paint Liner. It's kind of like um, a gel liner or a cream liner, but it's actually in a tube, like a squeeze tube. Try to get it open. And it looks like this. And yeah, um, I'm excited to try this. I really want to um, get more into gel liners. I use a lot of like liquid eyeliner pens, but I want to be able to like use a gel liner with a brush, you know, <laughs> as people do. So anyway, moving on. Okay, this is the Urban Decay Brow Beater in the shade Neutral Brown. And this is similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, I wanted to try it. This one's fairly new and I was curious about it, so I'll let you know what I think. Okay, this I really got from my hubby. This will probably be a stocking stuffer for him and it is the Art of Shaving Shaving Cream and it's unscented. Oh, and I got this from my hubby as a stocking stuffer too. This was a 250 point reward, I believe, and I don't even know how to say it, but it's Sauvage or something. It's a Dior men's cologne, and I got it from my hubby. So, got that. I like to use the sale to stock up on gifts because of the discount, so. Um, another thing that I got is this Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. I can't speak. But anyway, um, yeah, I actually bought this to try to replace my MAC Fix Plus just because that product has fragrance and I tried to stay away from fragrance um, going onto my skin. So hopefully I like this one just as much. And Clinique and MAC are both under um, the Estee Lauder brand, I believe. So hopefully it is similar, but without the fragrance. Can I just say it looks like I have on a ton of blush. 
and I haven't recorded in a while so I kind of forgot like blush can come up a lot more pronounced looking on camera so I promise you I don't have on this much blush I just I don't know what happened so anyway I, I forgot I forgot to under apply really that's what happened anyway I got this Clinique super balm lip treatment because I wanted to try a new lip balm then I got the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector, and it says that it has 12 hour shine control. I have a really oily nose, and I bought this specifically to use on my nose. Nothing has ever really worked. I can't even wear a nose contour. I can't, nothing stays on my nose. So I'm hoping that this will be the first product ever to really work for me for that. So we'll see. If it seems like I'm rushing, I am, because I just don't want this video to be like stupid long. Um. Oh, that is interesting. I'm sorry, I'm a little thrown off because my packaging is like all smashed. But this is a Diamond Cell, I think that's how you say it, nail file number two. I also didn't expect this to be in Sephora packaging, but it says Diamond Cell for Sephora. So I guess this is specifically like their Sephora line, but this is not Sephora's own brand. You know what I mean? It's a nail file. It claims to be made of real crushed diamonds. I don't know about that. I don't know, but but I know that it's um, supposed to be a really good nail file, so I picked that up. Okay, last thing in this particular box that I got is um, I've been looking for a good lip balm with SPF, and my friend Mia recommended this to me, so this is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. It has shea butter and vitamin E. I think I got like the original, like just the shea butter. They have like mint one, they have different ones, but... This is just the Shea Butter and Vitamin E one, and this is, um, it has SPF 25. I picked up um, some more Basha Green Tea Blotting Linens. I really like these, and I like the packaging because it's like a pop-out Kleenex style packaging. Um, I know like the Sephora brand ones, they don't pop out, and then I usually end up taking too many by accident. It's annoying. So I like the Basha ones. Okay, I got these Too Faced um, La Creme Color Drenched Lip Creams. They're basically lipsticks. And I'm going to start swatching these. So this first color is Teddy Berry. Ooh, it's pretty. It looks like this. And it goes on like so. I think that's pretty. Sometimes colors like this have too much brown in them or they go on my lips looking like too brown or too gray. And so we'll see how I like them, but that seems to be a nice color. It's got some rosy tones in it and I think it will work. This one is Jelly Bean. Ooh, something happened to that. I don't know if it melted a little or what. You can't see it on camera, but anyway. These are so creamy, like, I don't know. That, I mean, that's a good thing. <laughs> it made it sound bad, but the texture is just, it's a little scary for me. While swatching, I'm like, please don't get damaged. But yeah, that second one is Jelly Bean. This one is Spice, sorry. Spice, Spice Baby. Spice, Spice Baby. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> this one I was really looking forward to I love colors like that look at that I like it okay I'm getting excited I'm sorry let me calm my behind down I got a few of these is it just four just four juicy melons this one coming up is juicy melons and that one's a little bright but it could be pretty. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, because that, my lips have some brown in them, sometimes colors like this um, go on calmer than they look. And sometimes they look just as bold as they are. I never really know. That's why I try so many lip colors because you just don't know until you put it on your lips, you know? Okay, that's it for this box. So I'm actually going to clean this situation up and be right back. Okay guys, I opened up another box. Please forgive me like for not opening this up, but I really don't feel like fighting through this packaging right now. But I picked up the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca eyeshadow palette. 
and it really looks like a rainbow inside. I'll insert a picture. I just don't feel like fighting with this right now. And yeah. Okay, I got a backup NARS pressed powder in Mountain. I love this. I've gone through several. I didn't even realize I already had a backup. It's all good because you don't get that much product in the pan with those. So I do go through them somewhat regularly. This is Raspberry Sorbet. It's a philosophy body wash. I think I got at least one other scent. Yeah, I did. I thought it would be in the same package as this, but apparently not. Okay, then here we have um, a Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick, and this is in the shade Bachelorette. I will tell you that I tried this in the liquid lipstick, and I'm just not that crazy about liquid lipsticks, I've figured out um, for a number of reasons, but I guess that's neither here nor there. So, I'm going to swatch. It's sort of like a pink red. It's coming up more pink on camera, but it's a pink red. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I got so excited. There's like a there's like an insignia on the lipstick and I think that's so cool. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. I'm gonna get my life. Okay, so this is the color Lolita and I really I'm excited to try this one because people make this look so nice on YouTube and a lot of people have the liquid lipstick but I'm so happy that Kat Von D gave us options and I can get this in a regular lipstick bullet so let's see how that looks <gasps> oh my god yes okay I'm sorry that just looks really promising guys yeah all right move on this was a big box like I don't know what look at this box Th there was like a lipstick and no two lipsticks and a body wash in there I don't know why this box is so big but okay Ugh. this one's full let me tell you that right now Woo! oh god this is like everything in this box oh my goodness this is a little overwhelming guys like let me just that's a lot of ish okay this is actually the first order I put in and then I just kept adding other little things which I always do with the sale but oh my god this is a lot let me just go through it I have this already I like it I can't find it so I got it back up this is um a Sephora crystal nail file it's like a glass nail file okay backup beauty blender love those need that in my life um this is the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions Charcoal Mask. This is new to me and I wanted to try it. This is the Clinique Super Rescue Antioxidant Night Moisturizer for Combination Oily to Oily Skin. And this is um, my staple night cream. So I'm familiar with this already. And I have been waiting to order that because I'm out of it pretty much. But anyway, yeah. This is the Tweezer Man Studio Collection Pushy. It's a, it's a nail cuticle pusher thingy. Because I've been doing my own manicures. I know right now I'm unpolished. But I've been doing my own gel manicures. manicures, And yeah. So I needed some tools. This is an Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. I'm familiar with this. This is a backup. I love it. This is the Clinique Acne Solutions Oil Control Cleansing Mask. I have used this in the past. And I went and tried um, another brand's one. And I decided to go back to this. I really like this mask. Um, here is a NARS Sheer Glow in Tahoe. This is the only foundation I use. Um, and I got two. <laughs> and these will last me probably like about a year. Because I only wear foundation like if I'm going out or like mostly on weekends. I don't wear foundation to work. So anyway, this is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl. This is a backup for me. So I'm actually not going to swatch this one. But if you, um, right next to this in the description box, I will link a video where I was wearing this. And um, I'll link the video where, like my last video, I talked about this and I swatched it and everything. So yeah, I got a backup NARS Pencil Sharpener. Works really well with their, um, you know, chubby lip pencils and it also works well Really, really well. The skinny side works um, very well with my NYX lip liners. I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless um, Concealer. And I got 
a backup to my medium dark neutral I also wanted to try medium dark warm and so I'm gonna see how these work out because it was unclear online if one is darker than the other or lighter than the other so I don't know anyway I got a sugar I'm sorry um, another thing I got is the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish, and I have been waiting to record this so I can start using this because my lips are so problematic, they're so dry, and it's exfoliating. I don't know, I just have issues with them. And I know people say, like, you can just put, like, your own sugar into olive oil or coconut oil, but, like, I know for me that's not going to work because I'm not actually going to do that. I'm very lazy when it comes to certain things. I need it prepackaged. I need it like this. So <laughs> I'm excited to try this. Oh yeah, here's my other one. This is my um, Philosophy Vanilla Bean Nutmeg um, Shower Gel. And I'm so excited to try this. Like, doesn't that sound amazing? Vanilla Bean Nutmeg. Yes. I got um, another uh, YSL Touche Eclat in 3.5, also known as Luminous Almond. And I've used this in the past. I tried a lighter shade, but I think it was a little too light. So I got one of those again. Um, this is, oh, I'm so excited. Sorry, this is the Urban Decay Brow Box in the color Brown Sugar, and I'm really excited to try this because it has many, a mini, it has too many brow brushes, like one for the powders and one for the wax, and I love applying my eyebrows with um, an angled brush, and this is like a to-go version of that, and I think that that is so bomb. So yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm really excited about this because I do my eyebrows at work. So, I like travel friendly stuff. Alrighty, okay. This is the Kat Von D ink liner in um, the color Trooper, which is black. I have it on today. I love this. I love this. This replaced my Stila Stay All Day as my favorite liner. This is amazing. The tattoo one didn't work too well for me, but the ink liner, oh, so bomb. It's felt tip. Um, the tattoo liner has more of like a calligraphy tip and I just find that for me, some people like the control but I feel like it yields color kind of slowly and you have to build it up. I am impatient and so that one works better for me. I like the felt tip. Okay, we are getting down to the end here. This is the Makeup Forever 15 Artist Shadow Palette. I still regret to this day not getting like that 30 shadow um, palette. I'll put the name down here because I never can remember it but I still regret it so I had to... Um, was it 30? I think it was 30. Yeah. I had to get this, basically. And I have too many eyeshadows, and I barely wear eyeshadow. I'm not wearing eyeshadow right now. But, as you can see, I only got one other palette. Because I'm just like, Jaleesa, you have to use up some stuff before you buy more, okay? But, I just really wanted that. Because I've been regretting not um, getting that other one. And I've just been wanting to try the Makeup Forever um, shadows since they were reformulated, like, was it last year or a couple years ago? I haven't tried any Makeup Forever shadows. So I got that. That's a skincare. Um, I got this and this came as, it was like sold as a set on the site. But it's just in two different boxes here. But I'm familiar with this already. I can't even see the name. Oh yeah, the Ferulic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. I use this already and I like it. And I decided to add um, a serum to my skincare routine for all over my face as well. So I got the matching face serum. I got these as a set. And they're also sold separately. I got a backup. I didn't even know, like my friend Mia hooked me up by telling me about these. And I just recently found out that they're on Sephora because I had been, um, I had only ordered them from, Nord from Nordstrom in the past. But this is the Shiseido Facial Cotton and it costs a lot more than your regular cotton you would get from Target or wherever, but I find that you use less product it absorbs less product on the pad in a good way like it doesn't eat up your product so I don't know I just I really like them I think they're worth it okay then we've got this NARS lip gloss in the color Chihuahua I've um the NARS lip glosses at some point were, were reformulated um I got a NARS lip gloss back in like 2011 or so when I first started wearing makeup really um and the, the formula, it needed some improvement, and they did the damn thing with the improvement, okay? This actually looks pretty similar to Dolce Vita, which is the other um, shade I have in this formula. Well, let's swatch this. Um, it's not. It's a gloss, so, you know, it's hard to, kind of hard to swatch, really. But 
this is it down here and it looks pretty I think I'm gonna like this um and the texture is so nice with these now that they've been re reformulated like I don't know I'm just I'm into it another hit from NARS so I purchased like six of these um, because I was familiar with them from the past. This is a Laura Mercier powder puff and I like these because you can actually like stick them in a lingerie bag and wash them in your washer and I personally air dry them. I can't remember if the website says you have to but I air dry them and um yeah I like them. I have two. I had two. Now I have eight total. Yeah okay. There is one more item, and this was actually um, a point perk. I spent 500 points on this. This is the Caviar Anti-Aging Powerful Hydration for Dry Hair. It comes with a shampoo, a conditioner, um, and a hair and scalp elixir, and a hair 10-in-1 CC cream. That's a leave-in, basically. And it looks like this. And I wanted to try this because I've never had anything from this brand. And I looked up reviews and um, that CC cream actually has really good reviews. So I love my It's a 10 um, leave-in. But I thought why not try something different. I have a lot of um, Sephora points and I rarely use them. So I decided to use some on that. So guys, everything I mentioned will be listed below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. And um, it's good to be back talking to you guys. I have missed doing this. I really have. Um, I'm hoping to have some... Oh, forgot about these on the back of my hand. But um, I hope to have some more time in the future to be able to um, record and edit and be more of a presence on YouTube. It's just I have a long commute and a lot going on. But, um, I mean, like... I don't think that that's an excuse to neglect my channel. It's just hard to make time for everything sometimes. and um, But I do enjoy doing this, and I've missed you guys and interacting with you. And, um, yeah, after my probation ends with my job, I can work from home and have a more flexible schedule. And hopefully um, I can use a lot of that time to pour more into my channel. So just bear with me, guys. It's like a year probation. Yeah, it's a whole situation, but um, in the future, I think that I'll have more time for YouTube. So um, in the meantime, I'll keep trickling videos and trying to stay in touch with you guys. And please do the same. And um, that's about it, guys. I hope that you um, are having a great day. Let me know your favorite items. What did you guys get that I also got? Or what did I mention that you're already familiar with? Or you love, hate, might be a staple of yours, might be something you would never use again. <laughs> Just let me know. I really like interacting with you guys. And I want to know what you guys picked up. So that's it, guys. Um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this got something out of it, please do not hesitate to leave me questions and comments. And I just want to say thank you for watching. And until next time, bye.